finally won it, you know, after trying. Uh, been here four times, come in second twice, finished third once, uh, and now finally winning, which is great. You know, he had a one-shot lead. Obviously, play was cancelled yesterday. Um, today was the final round. It got very windy at one point, and so, uh, yeah, it was a pretty close match, uh, the front nine, and then I got it going, and, yeah, it's just great to finally hold this. Yeah, really good. You start thinking about things, and you start thinking about while well, just trying to play well, but then obviously the wind kept uh, came up. And it's a totally different golf course, especially the first and second holes playing into the wind. Um, it's still the same game plan, try and hit fairways, hit greens, give yourself chances, and that's what I did. Didn't make any mistakes, just up the 11th made a, a bogey because I got plugged in the bunker, but other than that, you know, played very solid. It smelled a bit like beer, yeah. I, it was funny because we walked up the last fairway and uh, the guy goes, shall I already get you a beer? I said, oh, that'd be really good, you know? So I didn't know that they would come running up the green and spray me with it, but yeah, it's good fun, it's good fun. But, you know, even if they weren't here, I know so many faces from from past events that are playing here this week so I mean the camaraderie is, is good anyway uh, yeah it, it makes it even better when you you know you got guys from your own home uh, club and and, and and other players from Holland that are playing so yeah it does make it a little more easy I didn't actually know that moment that I had five shots I knew it was like at least three clear so it, it makes it a lot more comfortable to play the last holes knowing they're not long as well because um, you're only gonna be hitting wedges in this is the cherry on the cake I mean it's the biggest event that I've won this year and it's um, yeah, it's, it's just great. It's great. People ask me, you know, are you gonna are you gonna go play again? And uh, you know, if it's 40, I just turned 40 this year. 40 is the new 30, they say. Uh, but no, I, I you know, I, I love coaching, love teaching, love working with young guys and with guys that want to become professionals and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna keep doing that and keep plodding away, playing some you know events like I do now, and that, that's that's enough for me. I've hit it well a week. I uh, just didn't hold anything on the first two days, and then today, uh, just. Yeah, probably the best I've a week, but just hold some putts and with the wind as well. Um, yeah, I was lucky to jump up to second. Front nine was really windy, probably three club wind at, at some point. So uh, yeah, it was, it was it was the front nine was really tough, and then it, it, it calmed down a little bit on the back. But yeah, really pleased with the front nine. Been here a couple of times before. You know yep. your way around. Yeah. Representing England again. Does it get old representing your country, or does it sort of you know? No, it's always. So it's nice to represent your country, I guess. You know, before coming here, I definitely looked at the leaderboard from the previous years. Uh, I saw that my fellow uh, Canadian player, uh, Danny King, finished eight last year. So obviously, I'd say that I wanted to finish uh, top eight or better. So I'd say it was a good, uh, it was a good week. Whenever you're still in the chase, you know, whenever you're in the lead, I'd say uh, your game plan doesn't really change. You've been playing well all week, so that's what I kept on, uh, kept in my mind. Uh, started pretty good with a birdie on the first hole, uh, birdie on eight, so I turned the front nine uh, two under. Uh, made a birdie on ten. Uh, although I had uh, had a little back incident, uh, I've had a little injury, and I injured myself when I hit my shot at the bunker on ten, and uh, had a couple wild ones on the back nine. But all over and all, it was it was okay.